Hey, Jay Carper here, and I'm reading today from Proverbs 31, verses 10 through 12. And this is the beginning of the famous Proverbs 31 woman passage. Who can find a virtuous wife, for her worth is far above rubies? Her hus- her, the heart of her husband safely trusts her, so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. Now, this is the uh, English Standard Version that translates this Hebrew word as virtuous. Uh, some translations will say a woman of valor or a competent woman. Um, the Hebrew word is chayil, and it is most often translated, at least in the King James Version, as army. And in the phrase, uh, the army of Pharaoh, that's Pharaoh's chayil. The army of the Philistines is the Philistines' chayil. Uh, frequently, when it's translated as valor, uh, it's referring to a mighty man, of, of a soldier. Um, Saul asked David if he would be his mighty chayil, his mighty man of valor. And what this means is, this is a take charge, strong, competent woman. And out of all the usual translations, I think competence gets to the point better than the others, but none of them really quite make it. This woman, this Proverbs 31 woman, is a force of nature in her own right. She is strong, she is competent, she's intelligent. Um, she's strong, but not bossy. No man is attracted to a bossy woman. Well, no normal, healthy man is attracted to a, a bossy woman. Um, we are designed from creation to be attracted to a woman who can be our help meet, a help a helper who is suitable to us. That means that um, where we are weak, she is able to hold us up. Uh, she can complement our strengths and um, she has her own opinions, uh, her own will, her desires. She has her own intelligence and wisdom that she can add to ours. Now, a, a weak man will generally prefer a weaker woman. Uh, in fact, all men prefer a woman who is physically weaker than themselves. Again, all healthy, normal men, because it's the way we're designed. The scripture is clear from beginning to end that men are supposed to be the heads of their houses, and that includes their wives. Uh, in Torah, a man can cancel his wife's vows when he hears of them. Uh, if she makes a rash vow the very first time he hears of it, he can cancel it. She cannot cancel his. It only works the one way. Uh, this means that he has authority over her. And as Paul pointed out, the woman was created specifically to meet the needs of the man. So very, very few men and no normal men will ever be attracted to a woman who is naturally stronger and more competent than they are. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the way it's supposed to be. That does unfortunately make it very difficult for the best women to find good, suitable husbands because they need a man who is, who is stronger than they are, at least in some respects, because every man has his weaknesses. And one of the strengths of this Proverbs 31 woman is that she doesn't focus on her husband's weaknesses. She doesn't shame him in public. She doesn't tear him down. She doesn't insult him for his weaknesses, but rather she holds him up. She fills in the gaps. She makes sure that where he is weak, she makes him stronger. Um, and I think that's really what this is all about. A strong woman who is competent and who will act as her husband's partner, not as his competition. Uh, if, you want, if you want to find a good wife, you look for the same essential qualities in the woman as you would look for in a strong, competent man. You look for strength of character, competence, coupled with humility and a willingness to serve. And I think that's really the heart of the Proverbs 31 woman. So this is Jay Carper. If you haven't found a wife, look for a strong, competent woman, woman who is humble enough to want to serve other people and not tear other people down. Be blessed.